some of the tools of the experimenter's trade. There's a bunch of coils I've wound. I've been winding them right now strictly for that magnet right there which is a one half by one half by two inches long. So what I've been using is this bar and I simply wind the wire around it and then freeform the coils from that and as you can see I have several different sizes of wire and lengths that I've tried out. That one there is the one I've settled on. Sorry, that one there. It's a 20 gauge wire and 100 wraps. From that I extrapolated my serpentine coil this isn't the one I, or the same wire size as what I've wrapped. I've actually wrapped the 20 gauge, uh, 31, 31 um, wraps, and three of them have now been epoxied, fiberglassed into a stator and I'm getting after rectification with uh, simply the one magnet rotor driving it. I'm getting upwards of 8 volts at around 100 RPMs. Probably less than 100 RPMs but uh, and all three legs have survived the fiberglassing so far. I haven't used the kindest manufacturing technique but uh, it's only a one of and I'm just refining the manufacturing. These are going to be my rotors. I managed to come up with several of these uh, for a decent price. They're 15 inches diameter and I had to double them up to get the saturation level kept in the inside the metal. There is no attraction whatsoever with that thickness. It's probably in the between three sixteenths and a quarter inch thickness. That's a half inch thick magnet and it's less than half the thickness of that. These are N40 or yeah N42 magnets. Here's the form that I wound the serpentine coil on. I drew it out and then put finishing nails into that surface. In all those little holes and just used the ones that I wanted to use. I had to go over it a couple of times so there are more than one hole. And that gave me my pattern for the serpentine coil that I wound. And in behind that is my going to be my one use only um, stator mold. I'm going to now that I've got the stator in its uh, in a form that'll hold together. Um, all the coils are in position and uh, it's going to stay together. I'll now put it inside here and uh, form the unit fully. Okay, let's see what kind of voltage we can get out of this. 
Now this is that same stator I was telling you about. 31 wraps. Thirty one wraps of number twenty wire. As you can see, I'm going to have to do some balancing. I, the coil or the magnets are simply on there loose. Um, I can see that I have some over a little further than others, and uh, also the uh, rotor. I need to, while it's running like this, take a file to the outer edge. So there is a little bit of work to be done there yet on the rotors. I have to build another rotor the same and put them together with the uh, stator in between and we should be able to get some production.